you want to live in a world where an 18 year old girl can make more than an Ivy League neurosurgeon who has two decades experience? It's a scary thought, but we're already here. And so in this video, I want to share with you the dark side of OnlyFans and how OnlyFans hijacked the souls of men and women in just a few years. Let me share with you how we got here. I was lying in bed with a woman I'd recently started dating, enjoying the moments of intimacy. Suddenly, she rolls over timidly and begins to speak really slowly. Andrew, um, I have something to tell you, she spoke softly. I haven't been completely honest about what I do, but I'm making about $30,000 a month doing this thing my friends told me about. I was stunned. $30,000 a month doing what exactly? As she started to explain, I felt a knot forming in my stomach. It was this uncomfortable feeling, one that left me feeling vulnerable and exposed. She was using a platform that was notorious for its explicit content, OnlyFans. To say that I was taken back would be an understatement. I had heard of OnlyFans before, of course, but I had always thought that it was just a little bit more than a glorified Patreon with just generous community guidelines around semi-nude content like maybe Playboy, but as she continued to speak, I realized that I had been wrong, very wrong. She told me that a few of her friends were making as much as $50,000 a month on the platform. One woman she even knows said she made over a million dollars last year. The sheer amount of fast money being made was mind-boggling, but it wasn't just the income that shocked me. It was the fact that these women were making it by selling explicit photos and videos of themselves online. I stared at my date with a mix of disbelief and intrigue. She was not the kind of woman I thought who would do OnlyFans, like she had a college degree. She grew up in an upper middle class family in a safe neighborhood, seemed to have it all together. But as she spoke about her secret life as an OnlyFans model, I couldn't help but wonder what else don't I know about this girl? My mind raced with questions. How did she get into this line of work? Was she doing it just for the money or was there something else driving her underneath all of this? Does her family know? Does her sister know? Does her father know? Should I continue to date this girl? As the night wore on, I couldn't help but feel drawn into this strange secret world. I wanted to know more, to understand the motivations of these OnlyFans models. I gave up any attempt to sleep and started searching for answers, delving deep into the world of OnlyFans. As I read more and more about OnlyFans, I found myself feeling a range of emotions. I was intrigued, fascinated, even a bit turned on, but I was also disturbed, disgusted, and deeply worried about what all this means for the future. The explicit content and the revelations about the platform's inner workings were shocking, and I couldn't help but feel like I'd stumbled upon something dark and sinister that was quietly brewing before our eyes and no one was paying attention. I felt compelled to share what I found. So viewer discretion is advised. The following content may leave you feeling angry, confused, and deeply disturbed, but it is a story that needs to be told. Before we dive into the dark underbelly of my research and my personal experience dating multiple OnlyFans models over the last year or so, we need to first establish what OnlyFans is and how it works. On the surface, OnlyFans is a tech-driven social media site designed to put creators first. Similar to Patreon, OnlyFans gives creators the opportunity to offer paid content to their fans in exchange for a monthly fee and tips. Additionally, creators can offer private pay-per-view content through direct messages. On the surface, this all seems innocuous enough. I get it. With big players like YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook pocketing most or basically all of the profits generated by the creator's hard work, a platform like OnlyFans seemed to be the market's natural response to putting creators in the driver's seat of it all. But there are a few unsettling differences that set OnlyFans apart. Nudity and explicit sexual content is not only allowed, it's the bedrock of the platform. In fact, the new owner of OnlyFans is a notorious porn mogul. Direct contact with creators through direct message and live streams where response rate is nearly 98% from the creator, which is unheard of on any social media platform. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. What really sets OnlyFans apart is the economic model underpinning the platform. Inside OnlyFans, the billion dollar business model revealed. 
Since its inception in 2016, OnlyFans has grown at breakneck speed. According to OnlyFans' own website, they have 170 million users, which is more than the male population of the United States. They have 1.5 million creators, they have only 200 employees, and payouts to creators exceeding $5 billion annually. Considering that OnlyFans pays out a hefty 80% of their earnings to creators, this means that the company generates in excess of $1.25 billion a year in gross profit. And when you consider the low overhead costs, if each of their 200 employees earn, let's say, $100,000 a year, that's less than $20 million in employee costs. Their economic model is one of the most profitable in the world today. If we compare this with a household app like Zoom, as of right now, Zoom has 300 million daily active users, which is more than double that of OnlyFans. They have 8,400 employees and annual revenues of $4.1 billion. Think about that for a minute. Zoom is a household name with nearly double the number of users as OnlyFans. They have 41x more employees than OnlyFans. They offer a valuable service that is necessary to conduct business in the modern economy. And yet OnlyFans is set to surpass their profits in 2023 with far fewer employees. And when you look at the full story of what's going on, the implications are as profound as they are disturbing. Not only is OnlyFans one of the only 1,200 unicorn companies, which is a privately owned business with a billion dollar plus valuation in the entire world, in the planet, but its operations are so lean that it's able to generate profits on par with some of the biggest and most disruptive tech startups in all of human history. Although one can't help but to admire such a profitable business model, these facts all beg one important question. How is OnlyFans thriving in a world of free adult content? As I started to delve deeper into this world of OnlyFans, a single question grew in my mind. Why on earth would someone pay for adult content when it's freely available with the click of a button? After all, it's estimated that nearly 25% of all content on the internet is pornographic in nature, and most of that content is actually free. Pornhub hosts more than 3 million videos on their site, with hundreds being more added each day. Meaning that even if they wanted to, not one person could watch every video that exists online in a lifetime. So why pay for sexual content from creators on OnlyFans, especially considering that many of those creators only do semi-nude images and refuse to upload sex videos. And even when they do, it's often just like a shaky 18 second smartphone clip that doesn't get the job done for most guys. There's no shortage of porn, yet the difference of women on OnlyFans is they are your average girl next door who did well in school, played sports, and has a college degree, maybe even a professional career underway. She's not the drug-addled, run-down porn star in her last years holding on for dear life. The further I went into this rabbit hole, the more eye-opening this picture became. Number one, guys, the normalization effect, creating a sense of safety. One of the first things I noticed about OnlyFans is the general lack of stigmatization surrounding the whole platform. After all, it was originally designed as a social media site, and that's exactly what it looks and feels like. From the moment you land on the Bright homepage, the entire experience feels wholesome and safe, like a big tech company in Silicon Valley is behind it all. When you compare that to a popular adult website where pop-up ads for male enhancement pills and widely explicit short clips fill the margins of every page, the difference is night and day. For many men, their experience on OnlyFans feels similar to scrolling through Instagram or Twitter or Pinterest. They aren't really watching porn, right? They're just scrolling through content from some of their favorite creators. And besides, they're supporting someone they like directly or may even know. It's not that big of a deal, right? And this is where the second distinction with OnlyFans comes into play. The inner world of attractive women. Unlike run-of-the-mill porn, which often feels overproduced and frankly cheesy, OnlyFans feels like real life. You're getting a peek into the inner world of a young attractive woman through her own phone. You get to see what her daily life is like, almost like she gave you her phone and gave you free reign to swipe through her photos. It's the new porn, but it doesn't really feel like porn. It's more real, more authentic, and seemingly more genuine. Often the content is even shot in her actual home in her actual bed with an amateur quality feel that just kind of makes it feel like a social media site. This is where things really take a turn. Because the rise of porn removed all barriers to entry for access to naked women. Decades ago, the only way to see an attractive woman naked was through seduction or prison time for breaking laws or, of course, magazines. But 
Today, the average man will see more naked women by just Monday afternoon than his entire ancestors. OnlyFans takes this a step further. Even just 10 years ago, for a man to get an inside look of the life of an attractive woman, he had to date that woman. This required effort, strategy, resources, countless rejections, social skills, and access. Going out into the real world and meeting these women through either skills or their own network. OnlyFans changed this dynamic in the same way that film and later the internet changed access to nudity. With the rise of OnlyFans, men can get a behind the scenes look at an attractive woman's life from anywhere in the world at any time. Pull out the phone, open the app, scroll, enjoy. It provides an artificial sense of connection that will only increase with time, but it gets even darker because OnlyFans doesn't just give men a glimpse into these women's day-to-day -day world. It gives them the ability or rather the illusion to join them in that world. Number three, the fantasy of dream women, how it impacts isolated men. The biggest distinction between OnlyFans and traditional porn is the ability for fans and creators to interact in real time. The average man on popular social media apps like Facebook and Instagram or even dating apps, they're going to experience one of two things when he attempts to reach out to an attractive woman. Rejection? Nothing. Okay, aka being ghosted. Most men haven't developed the skills necessary to stand out and attract the attention of an attractive or high quality woman. And many of them have rarely if ever received positive responses from attractive women in person or online throughout their entire lives. But with OnlyFans, not only can you get a response for the right price, but you can get an enthusiastic and positive emotional response, which many men have never experienced before from this type of a woman. You aren't required to develop yourself or grow as a man. You don't need to be highly successful in your prime age to be physically attractive, interesting, or witty. You simply need to pay five to $30 a month and women you could never imagine approaching in the real world will carry conversations with you virtually. You wanna hear about her day, send or receive naked pictures or share your darkest fantasies. She'll gladly engage with you for a fee. And all of this just kinda seems too good to be true, right? Well, there's an eye-popping catch to all of this. The woo man behind the curtain. What I discovered after dating and talking with multiple OnlyFans models is that most creators have a dirty secret that they can't share with you. So secret that it could break down their entire profit model. And this is especially true for the more popular creators with hundreds or even thousands of fans. Their dirty secret? Even though they charge their fan base high fees for access to direct messages, personal nudes and ratings of whatever you like, none of the creators I met manage their own messages. Almost every popular creator works with a third-party talent agency that handles all of her communication and promotions. She works a few hours a month doing scheduled photo shoots, the photographer uploads her content to the cloud, and the agency rolls up their sleeves and starts hustling her fans. The model may only log into her account to check her daily revenues, then off she goes to Tulum, Miami, or yet another EDM festival. A whole new niche of talent agencies has been created, where the model outsources their OnlyFans page to marketing agencies for a percentage of their earnings. I don't know if OnlyFans knows about this or not, but it is happening. Meaning that men who are paying to connect with their favorite creator are often carrying on very lewd and sexual conversations with men in a foreign country who are copy-pasting messages from a library with keyboard shortcuts and simultaneously carrying on the exact same conversation with dozens of other men from all over the world. Their sole aim is to engage with the user in the messages and comments, develop a connection, and quickly extract as much money out of the user as possible with private pay-per-view content. After all, if the model earns more, the agency earns more. And what's crazy, some men even know this, yet they decide to feign ignorance and continue engaging on the platform anyways. Most people struggle to respond to all of their emails, direct messages, tech messages, phone calls, voicemails that they get from colleagues, family, friends, employers, people that they either have a deep relationship with or who pay their salary and living. And yet men expect that these OnlyFans models who always seem to be traveling the world and going on wild luxury adventures to make the time to somehow respond to them instantly out of the thousands of other fans paying her every month. It doesn't make any sense. And intuitively, men know this. Even if she wanted to, she couldn't respond to all of the messages that she receives on a daily basis. Despite this knowledge, many men continue to engage with her for one simple reason. It provides them with the illusion of connection and intimacy. 
two things that modern men are so desperate for, they'll take it wherever they can get it, even when they know it's not the real thing. And can we really blame them? Men are struggling more than ever before in their relationships. According to a social survey published by the Washington Post in 2019, nearly 28% of men under the age of 30 haven't had sex in the last year. Pile on top of that the stark decline in marriage rates and the increase in divorces, the increasing rates of obesity and sexual dysfunction and the anxiety that accompanies that, and the fact that nearly 50% of men feel isolated and 15% claim that they have no friends at all. It's really no wonder that men are resorting to fake virtual connections as temporary escape from their connectionless realities. The brutal truth is this. We live in a society where men aren't taught how to increase their value and status and show up as the type of man that attractive women are drawn to, which means that if they want to develop the skills required to have success in real life, the path in front of them is long, painful, and filled with rejection, failure, uncertainty, and frustration. Given the option between the high effort path of personal development, social skill development, rejection, experimentation, and doing the real work required to grow as an attractive high value male, or the path of zero effort to experience an artificial connection with a quality woman that few men could ever hope to attract. Millions of men select the latter and are paying good money for it. Ultimately, the biggest difference between porn and OnlyFans is this. Porn offers a quick pleasure-filled release, whereas OnlyFans offers the illusion of connection, intimacy, and pleasure from your dream girl next door without any risk of rejection found in real life. It stacks multiple human needs on top of one another and delivers them in an artificial way from your boy Doi Fong in Vietnam the outsourced master of the keyboard shortcuts and sexting extraordinaire. <laughs> it's the perfect storm for an increasingly isolated and lonely male population with easy access to virtual connections. It's no coincidence that OnlyFans saw a huge growth during the pandemic. The timing couldn't be more perfect for a site like this to enter the market. Blending together sex, pleasure, intimacy, socialization, connection, and validation into a single place all for a low monthly fee. And the most interesting part about all of this is that it's baked into pre-existing daily habits that make it inescapable from the naked eye. The brilliance and danger of the OnlyFans business model on men. Unlike other major platforms, OnlyFans has virtually no customer acquisition costs. In a normal business, you have to spend a meteoric load of money to acquire new customers. To make things even more challenging, you often acquire those customers at a loss with the hopes that they will generate profits over their lifetime. Meaning you'll spend $50 to get a customer who only paid you $20 at the point of sale. But with OnlyFans, the creators and mostly the third-party talent agencies for the biggest creators do all of the heavy lifting for them by leveraging free platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Tinder, Bumble, Pinterest, and YouTube, along with all the other dating apps and forums and all that stuff online, creators simply just share their lives on these platforms to capture attention and acquire new subscribers for their OnlyFans channel and, by extension, new customers for the platform. And they're acquiring a lot of new customers. According to InfluencerMarketingHub.com and EarthWeb.com, OnlyFans has more than 500,000 new user signups each day and over 5,000 new creators joining the race daily. Really think about that number. And these numbers are only increasing quarter over quarter. From here, the situation turns exceedingly dangerous. The average American spends two and a half hours on social media each day. It's a habit that's become oddly normalized and ingrained in our culture. So much so that it's almost weird to not be on social media. And creators exploit this habit to draw in a never ending stream of new customers and ensure that their current subscribers stay for as long as possible. They use these free accounts to post semi-nude content that barely passes the photo guidelines on these other platforms, which remind their subscribers that there's exclusive new content just a click away. You go to your favorite social media channel to find funny content, catch up with friends and family, and enjoy a few minutes of mindless entertainment. And as soon as you do, you see a semi-nude 19-year-old girl dressed up as your favorite superhero holding a special toy in one hand winking at you. How on earth does a lonely guy who yearns for female intimacy not click on that? Pretty soon, the cycle becomes unstoppable. This business model preys on two unique psychological mechanisms that keep men unconsciously trapped 
in a vicious cycle. The first is something called environmental design. Simply put, your environment influences your behavior in ways that few people realize or understand. Many of the decisions you make throughout the day happen by default. Subconsciously, you're simply responding to your environment rather than making a conscious decision. And because most of us have our phones on us at all times and default to scrolling through social media the moment we're bored or uncomfortable, this creates a situation where we're always just one click away from an endless stream of amateur porn on OnlyFans. Even if you didn't open your phone because you actively wanted to engage on OnlyFans, environmental design pushes you towards the platform and leaves you just cleaning up 10 minutes later wondering what the heck just happened. The second mechanism at play is something psychologists refer to as habit stacking. Anytime someone wants to build a new habit, coaches and psychologists will encourage them to stack the new habit on top of an already existing habit. So psychologically, the pre-existing habit is going on social media, which serves as the trigger for the new habit, talking to girls on OnlyFans. And OnlyFans has leveraged this psychological tool to increase viewership, new subscriptions, and generate great profits. After all, OnlyFans has become a top 41 website out of millions of websites in the United States under our radar. Sure, from a business standpoint, their model is brilliant. By using the combination of a creator-driven acquisition model, leveraging free social and dating app channels as their core traffic source, they have access to a nearly limitless pool of new customers. But from the standpoint of the male consumer, it creates a dangerous dopaminergic flywheel that can cause irreparable harm. So how can men reclaim their power in an artificial pleasure-seeking society? Everything we've discussed so far tells me two things. First, Men are hurting. They're lonely, displaced, and unable to get their needs met physically and emotionally. Shit is not working. They aren't happy with their purpose, their relationships, their social life, or their sex life. Second, it tells me that men need to step up and regain their power. Not their power over women, but power over themselves, their futures, and their lives. If reading this article has made you angry, good. If it makes you feel like billion dollar companies are exploiting your psychology and playing mind games to extract every dollar out of you while leaving you worse, good. If you're feeling pissed off that many of these creators have few if any valuable skills and they're able to earn 10 to 30 X more than you after all the work that you put into developing your skills, your education, good. My invitation to you is to embrace that anger, to use it, to harness it in a healthy way to break free from the shackles of vices, instant gratification, and artificial connection that's all around you, and create the life that you've always wanted, to live. Because the truth is, men need to make a change now. As technology continues to advance, it's only going to get worse from here. As companies invest more and more money into creating addictive experiences engineered to prey on your own biological desires with AI and quantum computers, more and more men are going to lose decades of their life to distraction and virtual substitutes for their natural human needs. It's up to us to wake up, short circuit this system and put an end to it now. And it starts by accepting one immutable truth. If you could choose between being romantic with a woman in the real world who was beautiful, sexual, intelligent, and brought immense value to your life, or having an artificial digital girlfriend that's really likely a dude overseas in his boxers, all right? We all know that you would select the former. So why settle for anything less? Why accept the substitute when you can have the real thing? The moment you accept that OnlyFans isn't offering real connection, real intimacy, or anything that's real at all, except that it's taking your money, time, and attention, that's the moment that you begin to reclaim your power. OnlyFans is to sex, intimacy, and relationships what Call of Duty is to real urban combat. Commit yourself to reality, the truth of your life. Live your life in front of your own two eyes, not through a screen. Realize that these OnlyFans models don't really care about you or your happiness or your future. If she saw you in person, she would not stop to talk to you in real life. Rather, she would be annoyed or she'd be scared and quickly want to leave. She'll walk right past you no differently than a homeless person on the side of the road. So stop giving so much of your finite time, energy, and money to them. OnlyFans is nothing more than an artificial substitute for what men crave. Connection, intimacy, and pleasure. Even though the platform comes with a high cost with your credit card plugged in, it offers no long-term reward. Until you're willing to admit this to yourself, nothing can change. But once you face the facts, the path forward is simple. Number one, purge your social media triggers immediately. 
If you currently follow any social media models that you have zero intention of ever following up with, or even suggestive accounts that aren't linked to OnlyFans, remove them. If she would not respond to you, then unfollow, okay? Remove everything that triggers you to see naked women. From men's interest pages that are really almost like softcore porn to models to creators, unfollow all of them if they are not in your own inner circle. Better yet, take a break from social media altogether. Remove the apps from your phone. Install a website blocking software. Just get rid of it for 30 days and focus all of that newfound time, energy, and attention that you would have wasted just gawking at models to go out and build your life. Number two. Focus on action over spectation. Lasting fulfillment, not just pleasure, is earned, not given. It's something that we must consciously achieve for ourselves by becoming creators and action takers in the world. Fulfillment can never come from consumption alone. My friends, OnlyFans is all consumption. It must arise from using your unique abilities and creativity to build things and create things and do things in the real world. Once you've purged the triggers and vices, you must replace them with something more joyful. Otherwise, you're gonna fall right back into the old patterns and behaviors, or you're just gonna find something else very similar to that. This doesn't mean you need to start a business or write the next great American novel. Simply that you need to stop living on autopilot. Pick a problem in your life that you wanna solve a skill that you want to develop, or something that you want to go learn and go do it. If you reinvest the two hours a day you would have spent on social media and OnlyFans into your real life, the results can compound very quickly. And as you begin to engage in the real world, explore your curiosities and develop new skills, the third and final step of this path will reveal itself to you. Number three, find a purpose where you lose track of time. Have a mission that supersedes artificial connections and take small actions to build momentum. Your purpose doesn't have to be grand or world changing. Often in the beginning, it just starts out simple, fun, and sort of small. Exploring the world, traveling locally, learning new skills and hobbies, reconnecting with the people in your life who matter. Fun 30 day challenges like cold showers, yoga, martial arts, surfing, become physically fit, become world class at what you do. But over time, as you start to build momentum, and you start surrounding yourself with people who are doing the same thing, your purpose will morph and grow as you grow. You see, when I started Knowledge for Men, I didn't have this huge grand mission to impact millions of men and become grounded and live my dream life and relationship. It was none of that. I just wanted to start a cool podcast where I could share what I thought was interesting about personal development and learn from people who I thought had been on incredible journeys in life that would have something to share. But as I took action and accepted my new role as a creator, my purpose started to grow bigger in time. The ugly truth is this. Of the thousands of men who will watch this, less than 1% will be willing to take action on the steps I just outlined. The masses will choose to do what is comfortable and pleasurable, to do everything in their power to live effortless and pain-free lives. But as a result of this decision, they will experience the deepest pain a human can experience later in life, the pain of regret. If you're in that 1% who aren't content to sit on the sidelines, settling for artificial connection and a life of quiet desperation, I can help. I put together a valuable 50 minute video training for men who are ready to become the strongest version of themselves and reach their full potential. And inside of this experience, you'll discover the simple path to becoming a grounded man and creating a life and relationship that you've always wanted. So click the link in the description of this video or go to knowledgeformen.com slash OF to start the journey and set yourself free. Until next time, guys.